Hello Cancer, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do your weekly read from the 21st to the 27th of, oh, that's very nice, two aces came out then, um, 21st to the 27th of October. Um, a little bit of a shout out to my very good friend Andy, who's a Cancer and may watch this. Oh, things happening everywhere, you've got things happening everywhere, transformations, new starts, Okay, and here's your read. Okay, so the first card we have out is the card of the Emperor. Now, this may well be your energy at the moment, but you could be dealing with a person who is an Emperor. Um, I didn't do the intro and say to you, if my readings don't resonate, please move on, or alternatively check out other aspects of your sign, such as your Moon, your Rising, or your Venus. Um, if my readings don't resonate, however, please move on to the next reader because there's some fantastic readers here. You don't have to comment, comment. they don't resonate, they don't resonate. Um, I am using the after tarot here. I think that's everything. So the Empress come out first. Now the Emperor, as you can see, can be the card of Aries because the Ram is down the bottom. So you could be dealing with an Aries person. Now the Emperor is a person who really is standing in their own space. They're very important, they're very uh, determined, very full of energy and passion and ready to do what they need to do. So they're very much, they can be a father figure, um, it can be a counsellor, it can be somebody you respect that you go to for advice, but you can see they're very sort of wise and very, you know, um, worldly. Worldly is the word I'm looking for. So you have something to do one of them this week, but it could be that you are doing that too or being in that space. Okay, so the first card we have out here is the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands talks about messages going backwards and forwards very quickly. Um, it does have a little bit of a reputation of being the arrows of love. And as you can see, they've pictured the, um, you know, the archer on the front of this card and my name actually Yvonne comes from the French for the archer which I think is pretty awesome okay so um this card can mean that you've got messages coming in and having the emperor up the front there I'm thinking maybe the messages are coming from someone and it could possibly be an Aries but it could be you corresponding with someone who has those so I think some of you are perhaps rebuilding a relationship with a male member of your family it feels like maybe you've um, reconciled with a father or grandfather figure um, I feel like some of you have actually found perhaps in a, your biological father here has very much a strong feeling of that um, the four of cups comes out next and the four of cups has lots of meanings and in this picture we see him um, throwing the what's in the cup on the ground and of course cups represent love and emotion and water is representative of that so this guy is not happy. Um, this can be, he can be throwing it away because he's bored with it. He's already had three, so he doesn't want another one. Um, but he's certainly, you know, it's a card of apathy and boredom, really. Uh, but sometimes it can be about just refusal of an offer. And it could be that someone's made you an offer here. Um, and you're refusing the offer at this point in time. Now, don't forget the energies can go back both ways. So you could have made someone else an offer. Now, the Queen of Cups has come up here. I did so many readings last night and the Queen of Cups comes up nearly every time to represent a mother. So it's a very, very strong mother card. Um, it could be that you've got in touch with your mother. It could be that you've got a mother who's encouraged you to look for someone that you've not had contact with. Um, it could be that this is a water sign, uh, a Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. So it could be representative of you here. Um, it's very possible that you have turned down an offer coming in from an Aries or someone who's quite important. Um, and they're definitely firing the arrow towards you here. So I feel this is you turning this down. Let's find out why. Okay, because you're quite happy to be by yourself at this time. Okay, that's really straightforward. So, it could be um, for a lot of you, if you've been trying to track down a family member and been sending messages to try and locate someone, as I've said before, it could be that you have got to a point in your life where you're hugely independent and maybe you needed to get in contact or find out who your family was. Um... 
But this is the card of independence. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of being, you know, completely in your element, um, financially, work-wise, family-wise, whatever else. It's a card of comfort and um, luxury. It's like splendor. Luxury and splendor. Beautiful. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles talks, it, it's a card of patience, really. It's You may have put these messages out into the universe. You may have sent these messages to people and you're waiting on some sort of return because you're waiting on something that you've tried to manifest here. Um, and you could be trying to manifest the this emperor person back into your life. So it may be that you've had offers from other people, but you have t turned down the offers because you quite like where you are in your life. And maybe someone's offered you something, but you're just not interested here. You're quite happy just tending your garden and plodding around. So it feels to me like you've put, I feel for some people, they may have put, they may have wanted to be with someone else or may want another situation. And people have been offering them things, but they actually want one thing because they're looking at these other offers and going, no, it's not what I want. So I think some of you are waiting for something specific here. And there's the fool. So some of you are about to head out on a new journey. And as you know, this is a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a leap of faith. So I'm not quite sure where you're going here, Cancer. Um, but it's certainly put you in your head here. You've done a lot of thinking about this in order to move forward. Um, it sort of feels to me like a lot of people have are waiting on something in particular, and other offers are coming in, and they're just not they're just not taking them. If this could be about money and jobs, because there's a few pentacles here, but. It looks to me, Cancer, like you're just, you've got your sights set on one thing and you're not being swayed by that, but you are in your head a lot about it. So it's like you've sort of entrapped yourselves in your thoughts at the moment, trying to work out, or maybe just trapped in thoughts about waiting for something to come to you. Okay, and then you have the Six of Wands. Now, this is really nice because something is coming into you that you've been waiting for here. And with this full card in the middle of the reading, which is very much your general energy here, um, something is coming in that you've wanted. It looks like you've had lots of offers. Maybe you've been waiting for a particular position at work, a particular job, a particular person. It could be, too, as simple as you've had lots of offers about maybe rental properties, but you're waiting for a particular one to come in. I feel that this, as I said, for a lot of you here, it's like you've been trying to find out something about your ancestry or your roots, um, and you've been trying to discover where you came from, looking for a father figure or a biological father. Um, and then we have the King of Wands here. Now, this could quite likely be the person, the thing, the situation you've been waiting to come in. It could be that this King of Wands is the one that can offer it to you. So the King of Wands is a Leo, uh, Sagittarius or Aries. Um, and it's come out next to the Six of Wands here. So for some, of them, for some of you, it will be about this particular person that you've been waiting on. Um, it could be that this person, it could be your father, it could be a father figure, um, it could be, you know, like a love that you've been waiting for. It could certainly be someone who's going to bring you what you need. I like that though, at least you're getting it and it's showing in this reading. Um, okay, so the Seven of Wands is here and we talk about the Seven of Wands being a card where people are, be, are very defensive about something because you're fighting you're fighting people off here and it's sort of this energy which is I'm gonna to have to pull another card I very rarely as you know very rarely clarify but it's a little bit okay all right well I've pulled out the three of wands so there's a couple of messages here 
So firstly, I think that you've managed to manifest whatever this is into your life, but I don't think it's turned out to be what you wanted um, because you're moving on from it. It's just not turned out that way. The other thing too is you might find if you're trying to track a person down or get in contact with a person that they do not want to reciprocate here. So if it's you putting out the offer, it may not be received well or you may decide it's not the right way for you to go. Because with this three of wands here, you're moving on to something else. You're now waiting for something else. So an offer could come in from a king of wands, but you're still not happy with it. You're still waiting for something new. Well, I hope you can identify with that, <laughs> Cancer. Um, and I nearly said Leo then, so you may well be dealing with a Leo. That's quite interesting. Okay, pulling a card from the Lucy Cavendish Beautiful Creatures. No, it's not. It's the Lay Vampires. So you have a card that calls, called Death Rites. And it says, saying goodbye, formal occasion and honouring lives. I will still read from the book because I still don't have these a whole lot in my head. Um, so hang on two seconds. I can read the whole card, but it's huge. So I've only been reading The Blessing. Um, and it says, honouring the ones whom we have loved and who we have left can be a beautiful way to come to terms with their absence and a way to help their soul make the transition to their new life beyond the veil, the evidence of life beyond death. So what I think this is saying to you is that you may have been waiting for something, but this situation just hasn't gone the way that you thought it would. And what the card's saying is that you can move on from here and just let it go. Very interesting. Thanks, Cancer.